Hey everyone, Nick DeRobertis here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to talk about the lab exercise to go along with the getting started with Python and Excel segment of the course. So the lab exercise, and this is our first uh, lab exercise where you actually have something to submit. Um, so the idea here is we're going to go a little bit further with this concept of adding iteration to our models. So we already looked at, you know, how to vary the, uh, the interest rate, uh, for both our Excel and Python models. Um, so now this is about, let's not only vary the interest rate, but let's also vary the savings rate at the same time. So not only are we going to look at these three different interest rate cases, we're also going to look at three different savings rate cases and every pairwise combination of those two. So there should ultimately be nine values uh, for uh, the model for, you know, 10% savings rate with 4% interest rate, 10% savings rate with 5% interest rate, 10% uh, with 6%, then 25% with 4, 25 with 5, and so on. Um, nine different cases. And you're going to need to implement this entire thing in both Excel and Python. Um, so as far as implementing it, you can go ahead and uh, you know download the uh, completed example model um, and start to work from that and then just go and add this additional iteration on the savings rate. Um, and uh, as far as giving you a little bit of help on getting started, um, so for Excel, hopefully um, things are fairly clear on what you need to do there. Uh, but I will say uh, there is a nice way that you can lay everything out um, where you still only need to type the formula once and you can drag it in both directions uh, to get all nine different values. Uh, and that's going to require using, uh, you know, some fixed references which are fixed only on the column and some which are fixed only on the row. Um, then uh, on the Python side, uh, the, uh, you know, one good way to go about this is to do a nested for loop. So that, uh, definitely trips a lot of, um, beginners up. So let's take a look at, uh, what that looks like. Um, so let's say, you know, we have, you know, one, uh, list here, and then we have another list here. Um, one list of numbers, one list of strings. So you can uh, write two loops um, inside of each other. So, um, or sorry, this would be print a item, print b item to get the actual loop variable. Um, so there you can see we get the same kind of effect that we're going for with this model, right? We get, uh, you know, one with A, and then we get one with B, and then we get one with C, and then we get two with A, and then two with B, two with C, and so on. So this is the same kind of, uh, you know, pairwise combination that we're looking for with this model. And then of course, you know, rather than just printing, you would want to actually put your logic inside of that inner loop. Um, and you will notice, you know, each for loop needs its own indentation, right? So we write the original for loop and then we have that for loops indent. And now we write another for loop and then we have that for loops indent on top of that. So two levels of indentation here to ultimately write our main logic. So hopefully with, you know, what we've covered as well as this information, that should be everything you need to be able to complete these labs. Now they are meant to, you know, challenge you a little bit and going just a little bit farther than the material that we covered. Uh, but that's why we also have the, uh, you know, lab sessions where, you know, you can come and you can ask questions and, and get feedback on everything. So you're not going this 100% alone. So uh, that's how we will wrap up this getting started with Python and Excel segment. 
Um, next time, uh, the whole next segment is going to be about uh, you know building a more in-depth Excel model and what that looks like. So thanks for listening and see you next time.